Okay, welcome to uh, this channel, and uh, this is a segment called The Voice of Love. And today I'm bringing you another email from a young lady with the title, Am I Scaring Him Away? This is a title from a girl. Am I Scaring Him Away? Listen. You feel so much, you care so much, you love him so much. You want to tell him how you feel. You think that all he needs to come around is to see you. I just need to tell him. You think I just need to put it out there so that he will know for sure that I really care about him. So you think about it. You ask your friends what they think. Because after all, you don't know what to think about this guy you love so much. He is not hot. He is not cold about his love towards you. When it's good, it's amazing. But when it's bad, it's really, really bad. He shows so much potential. But how? But how? You do keep this potential alive. How can I keep this potential, this man alive? How do you increase that potential? And the biggest question of all, how do you get a commitment out of him? First of all, it is so important to recognize there is a reason it is so confusing. It is because you are dealing with someone who is very confused. He may not know it, in fact, even admitting this to himself, let alone you, is enough to make him distantly uncomfortable. But that is exactly why you feel so confused. It is why you feel everything you do. The confusion, the mixed messages, the walking on eggshells, feeling everything you feel is because there's really something there. So what do you do about it? Because there is just a tiny bit of hope that's all that's missing is him knowing for sure how you really do feel about him. And once he knows, once you tell him, everything will fall into place the way you know it has the potential to do. What have you got to lose? Nothing and everything. See, this guy thrives of not committing to you. He thrives on being elusive. He thrives on keeping you guessing. He thrives on not being predictable. My girl, my friend, you need to know that this guy is a pretender. He doesn't want you to be able to keep tabs on him, to know where he is at any given time, to be able to reach him whenever you want to. Because that just feels too much like a commitment he's so afraid of. He doesn't want to be held to those kinds of close ties with you. Unless you catch him at vulnerable time when his, his guard is down and he realizes he really does not have to play the games he's playing, then you will be able to come to your senses. So I have to cut all the chase. Don't cry to him. Don't seek him out. Tell him that you are yourself and you will take care of yourself because you know life is so complex if you're not enjoying it you, you'll think death will be the best option now if a man is playing game with you the only thing you need to do is to tell him well you don't know the rules and you can't play that game any longer short of that you will always go sleepless you feel bad about yourself which is something you need to always remember, it's not good for you. On your own words, share with him only as much as he earned the right to have you share with him. If he is the right one for you, tell him your feelings isn't going to scare him off. But don't tell him this part right away. Wait until you know for sure that he is worthy your time, your energy, that he is safe to be with you all the days of his life. If it's all about you first and doesn't allow for him to feel like the man he wants to be by sharing with you his own feelings when or if he's cup of off recognizing them, you take the wind out of his cell and risk putting yourself in a position 
there is no easy way to come back from him. Remember, it is the mindset you convey when you own your feelings. When you own who you are, that's brought you to this point in time where you feel the way you feel. Don't run from that. Know that this is what makes you be yourself. Don't be scared of scaring someone away. If it's not worthy of your time, just tell him. Be upfront. Don't be scared. This is your life. Don't let anybody mess with your life. Tell him to shit off. Otherwise, you'll keep on crying forever and no man will think you are worthy because you, don't, you are not so good at taking care of yourself. Why should somebody else take care of you? Be blessed and take, listen more in the next video clip.